What's going on everybody? It's Policies here and welcome back to a brand new video. It really looks like Donald Trump's campaign is literally imploding and his doom is pretty much on his way. He's on his way out. Um, just yesterday, he made a slip up and said that everybody get out and vote on November 28th. November 28th? When I saw the article, I thought it was by The Onion or by one of those... Uh, you know, hardcore liberal fake websites. Like there's a whole lot of those on the right side, right? That say that Hillary Clinton might have a neurological problem or a psychological issue. So when I saw that, I'm thinking, there's no way Donald Trump actually said that. Um, and then I actually watched the video. I'm thinking, wow, he did say that. Like the guy has begin begun to lose his mind. And um, I don't think that he is really thinking anymore. And his strategy might be now to just literally get his poll numbers so low that his that the that the Democrats don't actually get out and vote, and instead his base gets out and vote, which is very very possible, um, and that would cause obviously Trump to win because his base is going to vote. Um, and uh, the Democrats is what the Democrats' biggest problem right now is actually making sure that the, making sure that the minorities and Hispanics vote. And when Donald Trump was actually um, uh, tied up with Hillary Clinton, it caused her base and also kind of the people that were kind of leaning towards her to actually decide to get out and vote and register. Um, so actually, it's kind of Donald Trump's strategy. It won't work, but it's interesting um, how he has really. Um, pushed himself down in the polls and I don't know if it's on purpose or not because if it's on purpose It's a very interesting strategy how he could bring his poll number so low with women and minorities and Hispanics But he would be counting on his base to pretty much come out and vote while Hillary wouldn't have the turnout He's hoping that his turnout would beat out uh, Hillary Clinton's turnout But that strategy doesn't seem like it's good because it really looks like now with Obama out there and Bernie Sanders out there, Michelle Obama out there, and of course Clinton and Bill. And even if you don't like these people, they have they're you know they're very popular. Um, besides Bill, right, who's been called rapist every time he gives a speech. It really looks like uh, the young people are going to get out and vote for Hillary, and so do so are the uh, Hispanics and also the blacks. I mean, that's pretty much uh, the game plan. So Donald Trump's strategy is just in that aspect is not going to work, and. The reason I think he might actually have a neurological problem or a brain problem is that Trump is attacking his own party now. He went on a tweeting rampage saying uh, uh, that, that the Republicans are against him and that the Republicans aren't united behind him and, and the, the Democrats more united behind Hillary, which is definitely true. But Trump doesn't realize that what he said in the video, the 2005 video a few days ago, it was sexual assault. He said he wanted to grab a woman by the pussy, and he can do it because he's a superstar, and that just doesn't fly. Um, and instead of uh, apologizing, he decided to blame Bill Clinton for it, and everybody's thinking, you know, why are you blaming Bill Clinton? You know, I mean, Bill Clinton's not running, right? He hasn't been president for a long, long time. Um, so Trump has really not only alienated himself with women because of the 2005 tape, but he's also alienating himself with uh, uh, with um, pretty much any potential voter that's outside of his hardcore base, which are um, middle, low class, marginalized, probably underemployed white men and some of their wives. Um, and that's not going to allow him to win the election. In states that he should be winning in, such as Ohio and Florida, where there's a, a major Rust Belt problem where the factories have gone, Trump should have been pushing his main message, which is um, Obama and Bill Clinton's trade deals have caused major issues in the U.S. economy and that he's the guy to fix it and he's going to fix trade and he's going to fix immigration. But he hasn't been on topic now for literally three or four weeks. It's been a month since he's actually like really talked about trade in a lot of depth. Instead, he's just been going through a whole lot of a whole lot of scandals, um, a whole lot of issues. And and that's just not going to get him into the White House. So the question comes down to um, uh, how bad uh, does it have to get before Mike Pence actually takes over? And I personally don't think that's going to happen. Um, Mike Pence just isn't popular enough. Uh, the the, the uh, Republican Party, they like him. 
right? So the the normal born Republican Party are, are, are a big fan of him, but the hardcore base that is behind um, that is behind Trump is not going to get behind Pence. They have really no interest to get behind Pence. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, his campaign's imploding. It's a straight-up emergency for him now, and he's going to have to find a way to fix this because if he doesn't, it's all over for the guy. It's all over.